When Sean was born, he was born with a rare congenital anomaly that affects one in 35 million children, so 200 cases ever. And when we went through all of that, we noticed how hopeless and lost we felt, uh, of just not knowing where to turn and really not knowing what to look, at, look for, where to find the best doctor, so on and so forth. My wife and I looked at each other, it's like, okay, we don't want another family to go through this again. And so we started Sean's Anomaly to provide education, hope, and help to families that are affected by congenital anomalies. It's an honor, really, to, to have somebody that, that actually understands what you're going through and will take the time to be personal with it. The way that I raised money for it was to go from an overweight smoker to an Ironman triathlete and to raise awareness and, uh, to the organization and really kind of put it out there in the public to say, hey, we're going to go to the far ends of the earth just like the Ironman is the hardest you know, one day endurance event and that's why I wanted to race and to carry this flag of hope, you know, which will have names of children that will, you know, that have congenital anomalies. Matthew came to us, um, the founder of Sean's Anomaly Foundation, and came to us to be able to help out with that creative piece and wanted to do something really unique with that design and make this flag one of a kind. And of course, by virtue of us getting volunteers involved in that process, just gives it even more energy. To actually have your your son's name put on a flag that's going to you know mean something to the family that's behind the group and um, all the people whose names are on the flag as well. I mean, it's it's just it's personal. The founders could have very well taken the approach of just sending the digital file and getting the flag done, and it had been done in you know a quarter of the time, if not less. But again, the process of folks getting involved the conversations that go behind it, just build that momentum. It's an honor to be here. I, I feel that it's an honor to be able to raise money for Sean's Anomaly, be able to be here and paint the flag and be part of Matthew when he crosses the finish. I painted the infinity fish. I painted that house. I painted the, uh, the H and um, be excited about it. It's not one group that's affected by all these, these disorders or diseases, it's humanity and we're having to bond together. Just to see um, that parent have to continue to hold on to the hope, which is the entire message behind this flag. It's, it's putting my little hero's name on something that's, that's going to be a big accomplishment. Regardless, every day of life is, is just precious, you know, and just grabbing hold of that and keeping true to that. So I think it's, it's saying a lot. It's given a lot of other parents a lot of courage to continue um, looking for the answers and finding those solutions and recognizing them when they come across them. Just as you can make it through that, that race and make it through that you know, endurance and that training, we can do. Patrick's going to be crossing that finish line too. It's hard. <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's going to be able to, to find hope and strength from, you know, everyone that's supporting us, and uh, he's going to be okay. The whole thing, this whole journey is like a journey of life, no matter what. Uh, when we step up here and we do something and we put our mind to something, everything is possible. And all you have to do is just take it every stroke, every pedal, and every step at a time.